The Rushfoot Evacuate Collection has been a huge hit, and we hope that you or your patient are loving it just as much as we are. However, over time, we know that things can get inside the system and perhaps degrade the performance of the vacuum pump. So what we want to do is take a look at how we can disassemble this, clean it, and then put it back together. We'll begin the cleaning process by disassembling everything. We've removed the patient's shoe, the foot shell, and the Spectra sock. I can now unplug the hose from the socket as well as from the heel. Now I'm going to inspect the hose to see that it is free of holes, cracks, or any other damage. Now I want to take the inline filter and go ahead and inspect that. It is bi-directional. You should be able to see right through it. So if you can't, you probably have an obstruction. You can clear that by blowing air through it in both directions. We now want to remove the foot module from the socket. With the foot now removed from the socket, we can go ahead and disassemble the components of the heel shock. We'll start with the lateral side by removing this exhaust port. We'll do that with a 5 16 inch socket. And you'll see it comes out fairly easily. And inside that exhaust port, you're going to see a little teeny white lip. That is the duckbill valve that we need to remove. I'll set those right here. Now we'll go ahead and we'll remove the straight barb from the medial side of the foot using a quarter inch socket. Now you can see when I remove that straight barb, unlike the exhaust port, you do not see a little duckbill valve there. Set that down. The duckbill valve is still located deep inside there, and it's very difficult to see. See that little white lip? Now we can remove that two different ways. I can tap it, which yielded nothing. So what I'll do is I'll take a paper clip. See, I just got a straightened out paper clip, and I will insert that into the lateral side of the heel where the exhaust port was. And now I can now push right through. And now you can see it's fallen right out. So we have completely disassembled everything and now we can start cleaning. So to clean everything, what I'm gonna do is I've got this little cup right here of isopropyl alcohol. Distilled water also works fine. And I'm actually gonna take my two duckbill valves and just drop them in there right now. Get a piece of paper towel right here so we have a nice clean surface. I'm gonna go ahead, take a Q-tip and I'm just gonna dip that in the isopropyl alcohol and go ahead and I'm gonna look at these threads nice and close, make sure they're free of debris and give them a good cleaning. I'll do the same thing on the straight line barb for the medial side of the heel as well, setting those down to dry. At this point, I'm also gonna come back to the heel shock itself and clean out the threads inside on both sides of the heel here as well. And it's okay to use a Q-tip, just be sure you don't leave any fuzz or anything behind. And now that I've removed the duckbill valves from the isopropyl alcohol, I'm just going to go ahead and give those another visual um, examination to make sure that they are completely free and clean of debris. I'm going to compress it a little bit so that I can open the valve and see that there's nothing inside of it. It's a very tiny opening, so look close. Now I'm going to leave everything sit here to dry. So we've completed cleaning everything that we need to and we can now reassemble everything. I'll again start with the exhaust port side by taking the exhaust port and placing this duckbill valve right inside there. And you'll see that it sits just right. Now what I'm going to do is thread that back into the lateral side of the heel and just snug it stop right there. Now I'm going to replace the duckbill valve into the medial side of the heel by just sort of dropping it down into place and it never wants to land where it's supposed to so again I'm going to get my handy dandy paper clip tool There we go. Now that I've got that seated exactly as I want to, it's very difficult to see, but you can see it deep down in there, it's in position. I can go ahead and replace the straight barb, and thread it in place. 
Now, at this point, we need to torque both sides, okay? So this is very important not to over torque because you will crush the threads that hold them in place and then blow your seal and it's not gonna pull vacuum or hold a seal. So what we recommend is if you have one, torque wrench, 15 inch pounds of torque on each side. If you do not have one, this is all it takes. Snug it by hand, put your socket on, and give it about 1 16th of a turn. Watch my hand. That's it. That's all it takes. We have now officially reassembled everything, so we're ready to finish putting this back on the socket. So what I'm going to do is reassemble my hose. and reconnect that to the straight line barb. Now I can replace the Spectre sock as well as the foot shell and the patient shoe if I want to. Reconnect my socket. Now with the foot module reattached to the socket, I can go ahead and route my hose and plug it right back into the socket. At this point, you're ready to go ahead and put it back on the patient and you're off to the races. After you've finished the cleaning procedures and reassembled the device, your vacuum pump should now be working efficiently. If it's not, please keep in mind that we do offer a rebuild kit so that you can replace some of the pieces. The rebuild kit includes a new section of hose, a new inline filter, a section of Velcro so that you can strap the hose to the foot pylon or wherever you need to and secure it. You will find two replacement duckbill valves, one replacement exhaust port, and one replacement straight barb. So there you have it, folks. If you're still having problems, please give us a call immediately at 855-450-7300. Thank you so much for tuning in. Elevate your life.